sometimes you'll run a command that might take a while to process through information like if we were to find our root directory it's going to go through every file on the entire computer and display it and this can go on for a while depending on the size of your hard drive and the number of files on it now you can hit control C to kill that I'll clear it out um, but let's say you wanted a command to run for a certain amount of time and if it's not done just kill it at that point well that's what we're going to do today using the sleep command and the kill command um, so basically I'll run that same command I just ran the find with the forward slash for root directory but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do uh, not the dollar sign I'm going to do the end sign which uh, if you've gone over the basics of bash or any type of uh, Unix uh, shell scripts um, basically that means run the find command whatever the first command is but continue and run the next command as well and the next command we're going to run is the sleep command which I've gone over in the past sleep by default it goes in seconds so if I say five it'll run for five seconds if I say three three seconds but if I want it to run for minutes I can say three M and that means minutes or three hours um, but in this case I'll let it run for three seconds and then we're going to use the semicolon this says another command once this command the sleep command is done running which will sleep for three seconds then run the next command and the command we're going to run is kill which if you're familiar with kill if you take kill and the process ID because every program you run has a process ID um, if you kill that process ID it kills it uh, it's like running going into your uh, system manager clicking on a, on a process and saying kill or end and uh, we're going to say dollar sign exclamation point. Uh, and what this does, dollar sign means it's a variable. An exclamation point variable means the last command is basically what it means. So we're going to find, uh, and it's going to start showing all the files. But instead of going on until it shows every file on the computer, after three seconds, it's going to then kill that process. So let's give it a try. I should click this. It should start showing files on my computer, but after three seconds, it should stop. Two, three. There we go. It stopped. Uh, I'm sure if I hit enter, yeah, it gives me uh, the next command saying that it was terminated. Um, so you may want to use this if you have a process that you want to run. You know it's going to take a while, but you're going to say, hey, if you don't find it after three minutes or 10 seconds or an hour, stop. Uh, it also works, you know, if you just want to kill a program, you want to have something running, you know, going, and you don't have time to be at the computer, uh, but you want it to stop running in an hour for whatever reason, you can sleep for an hour and then kill that process. So once again, the command is whatever process or command you want to run, and sleep for however long you want that program to run semicolon for a new command and then kill dollar sign exclamation point type that all out just like that once again it could be any command I'm using the find command as an example because it takes a while to run but if you want to ping oh, let me pinging uh, by default if you don't give it a certain number of pings will go on forever so I'll ping Google will sleep for three seconds. I'll even change that to five seconds. And then it will kill that process. So here we go, we're pinging Google, pinging Google, and after five seconds, boom, it kills it. So that is how you kill a process uh, after a certain amount of time. So you let it run for a certain amount of time. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Visit bashscripts.info or filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. And thanks for watching.